In this video, we're going to continue to learn the limiting probability. First, we're going to see uh, this example from textbook 4.26. We're interested in a collection of states instead of a, a single state. Um, let's uh, copy down the problem. Um, we have an irreducible meaning we have one class um, and positive recurrent markup chain which represents a uh, production process and we have this uh, transition probability P this matrix being a 4 by 4 matrix. Uh, let me copy down the rows and columns. We have totally four states. The first two states are down states, meaning the production process uh, is done currently. And the other two, uh, which are three and four, are up states, which means the uh, production process is is up and going. And we denote the up states as a set, which is uh, state three and four. And the down states, which is a complement, contains one and two, which are down states. And we are curious um, how often, instead of a jump from single state to single state, we're curious um, how often um, the production process goes from up to down and vice versa. Oops. Here's our question. So we're curious of the rate at which this markup chain, which represents this production process, goes from up to down. I mean, this is a, a, a perfectly reasonable question to ask if we model a uh, certain like real life production process like a car manufacturing etc we are also curious of the proportion or say the long run proportion of up and down time The long run proportion of up, it means uh, the proportion of uh, of the time where this production process enters up states and remains up. All right, and. Uh, the long run proportion of down is a proportion of this markup chain enters the uh, down states and uh, remains down for a while. It may jump back to the up states at the next time step, but we're curious uh, the proportion of the up and downs. Um, the long run proportions. of all four states and it's very strictly forward to verify that um, the long run proportion of transitions 
goes from one state to another state can be simply represented by the long run proportion multiplied with the transition probability. That is, uh, the long run proportions of transitions that go from state i to state j is equal to uh, pi i times uh, p i j. And uh, um, if we take the sum, all right, on all possible i's, Then for any single state, our long term, I'll say the long run proportion of this state, which is uh, uh, pi j, is the summation of the long run proportion of every other state, including maybe j itself, uh, multiplied with the transition probabilities. This is actually our uh, theorem 4.1, uh, which is the equation of uh, this pi uh, as a vector is equal to pi times the uh, transition probability matrix. All right. Now, using this relation, uh, we can see that. the rate at which this production process enter a j from i is nothing but the probability, the long run pr uh, proportion of this transition. So it's equal to the long run proportion of transition from i to j. I mean, this is nothing but the frequentist view of uh, probability. And by previous formula, we can see that this is nothing but uh, pi i, the long run proportion multiplied with uh, uh, pi j. All right. Now, originally, in this formula, all right, in this formula right here, we summed up, so, all the states. But if we are only curious of the rate uh, to a certain subset of the states, we can uh, do the following. That is, uh, the rate we enter j from a set is we simply sum up this i in this set. Now if we are curious of the rate of which the production goes from uh, up to down, it, then we consider this is a rate enter j. We alternatively, we change this j to the set. So the rate of entering a complement from a is then, oops, sorry, is then we sum up j in the a complement of and the rest is we sum up uh, the sum we obtained in previous equation. And now let me mark this equation. And uh, still, let me remind you guys, um, the A complement represents the down state and A represents the upstates. And now, 
what we want to derive is alternatively, if we define the following uh, two quantities, that is U, capital U and capital D as the capital U is the average time, let's say in the long run, um, averagely, um, how the upstate gonna remain in upstate for a while. That is uh, the average time uh, this markup chain remains up. All right. Um, and then similarly, the the D capital D is the average time this Markov chain remains down. All right. And of course, uh, uh, these two are like average time, and it could possibly uh, be. So, for example, if we consider like a sample of this Markov chain, what happens is we may have. And this is time, and this is when we start our clock. Um, initially, it is up, and after a while, let's say this is U1, and it remains in the up state. So this uh, markup chain, let's say the production process is, uh, is going. And then what happens is uh, suddenly, uh, we change to down states, and uh, uh, the production process goes down. And next, it goes up again, which is U two. And similarly, um, after it goes up for a while, it breaks down again. As we can see, all right, essentially, what happens is uh, during this time. We have two transition from down to up. If we consider on average, all right, here we have two cycles. On average, we have one down to up every u plus d that amount of time, which means, let me write this down. On average, we have single breakdown every u plus d that amount of time, and which means breakdown occur it's nothing but uh, one over uh, the time period on average. Uh, let me add this uh, here, average rate of breakdown occur. And uh, similarly, then this implies the long run proportion of up is then uh, is then this quantity, and similarly, the proportion of down is just a d over u plus d. And now let's uh, go back to what we derived before using the long run uh, probability. That is uh, the rate. Uh, of entering down from up, which is uh, uh, the rate of uh, breakdown, is this guy. So we copy it down.
And now the proportion of up, that is a、uh, essentially the long run proportion of all the up states. And similarly, the proportion of down is nothing but、uh, um, the proportion of down states. So we are now ready to solve uh, uh, the equation system. The first one is、uh, pi equals pi times the transition probability matrix. Uh, what I would like to、um, say in the homework、uh, for you guys to solve this equation is, if this equation has a solution,、um, we don't have to write all equations down. This is because、um, because this equation is equivalent of saying、uh, this is zero, which means this matrix has pi as a kernel, left kernel. And uh, uh, because we know that if,、uh, which means、uh, this matrix i minus p、uh, is of、uh, rank、uh, n minus one,、um, and we only have to solve、uh, three equations. If the dimension of pi is n. We only have to solve the first or any m minus one equations you choose from、uh, this equation system. And now let's write down、uh, the equation for this problem. So I'll copy down、uh, the textbook equation. If we solve this equation, the first three are the first three equations in pi equals pi times the transition probability matrix. The last one is、uh, pi is a probability. If we solve this equation, we will obtain pi one is、uh, this, pi two is a quarter, pi three is fourteen、uh, over forty-eight, and pi four is thirteen、uh, over forty-eight. And then, using the equation, the rate from a to Uh, a complement. Essentially, this is a breakdown. Is then summation of j in a complement, i in a, and pi i times pi i j, and we know that one two states are down states and、uh, three four states are up states.、Um, for i in a, which is、uh, Pi three, and then multiply with.、Uh, we're entering、uh, a complement, which are down states one and two.、Uh, we have this is p three one plus、uh, p three two, and another up state is four. We have pi four times p four one plus p four two. All right. Further, we can compute the proportion of、uh, um, uptime which we compute as u over u plus d. This is nothing but we computed. This is the rate、uh, a breakdown occur, and. U plus D is the time period on average a breakdown occur, which is uh, uh, one nova.、Uh, this we sum up all the long run proportion 
of the states in the up. And now this implies u is nothing but uh, this sum multiply with u plus d. And u plus d is the average time period, which is uh, uh, 1 over the frequency, or say the rate of breakdown. And then this is then multiply with 1 over uh, this quantity right here. Then this is uh, nothing but uh, um, we add up, which is pi 3 plus uh, pi 4, and uh, divided by uh, this quantity right here.